everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am sharing how I record Airbnb payments within QuickBooks Online. I have been asked a lot about Airbnb, especially from my clients, and I'm not sure if this is the tippity top ultimate way of doing this. However, I have a few Airbnbers on my client list, and we just went through tax season without a huff or a puff from accountants. And this seems to make the most sense to me. This is the accountant profile view for accountants and my fellow home bookkeepers. So if you are a business owner, make sure to check out my QuickBooks tutorials for business owners playlist. First things first, we need to set up our Airbnb accounts in the chart of accounts. You can enter through the gear icon or from the accounting tab on the bottom left hand side toolbar. Once inside, click the green new button to create a new account. Select the account type as income and the detail type as sales of product and name the account something detailing your property. I personally like to use the Airbnb listing name. And when you're finished with the first account, click the green save button. Create another account. And again, select the account type as income and the detail type as service fee income. Name this account something like Airbnb cleaning fee. You want your QuickBooks chart of accounts to match as closely to your Airbnb reports as possible, if not exactly, to avoid any confusion or extra mind work in the event of an audit. When finished, click save. Create another new account and select the account type as cost of goods sold and the detail type as miscellaneous service cost. Make this account for your host fees. Now you're ready to create your invoice. Make your customer as Airbnb and enter the details as they look on your Airbnb report. I like to enter my guest's name in the description box next to the property they rented, just to keep an even more detailed record. There is no need to make your guest your customer since you aren't actually billing them. That will just take up space in your QBO account. You can also attach their printout of their reservation details and payout to the invoice for best record keeping. With QuickBooks Online, there is no need for clunky filing cabinets. I am adding the Airbnb services to the inventory quickly here, but I'll make an entire inventory overview video sometime soon. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And if you like this video, feel free to share it on socials like Facebook business groups, LinkedIn, or just give it a big thumbs up. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.